Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the checkout page and we're going to be processing orders and showing it up on the checkout page. So you want to see my videos like this to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. Also, you want to get a template to follow along with the tutorial, check out the link in the description below that should point you to the right direction to get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new view in the views.py. It's going to be called checkout view. As you can see, that's what we have over here. So I'm going to open up my views.py, that's it. And we want to scroll all the way to the bottom and um, we're going to create a new view, checkout view. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new view in the views.py. Now I'm going to close up all those other tabs that we've got over here. And I'm going to close this function JS out because we won't be using it any longer since we are done for now till we get to add into wish list and all that. Okay. So to create a new view, I'm just going to get down here and I'm going to say define checkout view and I'm simply going to pass in request as a parameter. And down here, what do I want to do? I could go ahead and return a template. I could say return render and I'm going to pass in requests and I'm simply going to say call slash. Then it's called checkout.html. Now let's create a URL for it. So just down here, I'm going to create a URL and this one is going to be checkout URL. So over here, I'm going to paste this and i'm going to change this to check out url okay now this isn't going to be cut or anything but it's going to be check out and also this is going to be what check out now this one is going to be check out view okay okay so that's what we've got now it's going to need the templates called check out html so i need to create a new file and i'm going to call it checkout.html and now let's try out all this and see if it works. So I'm going to say come over to slash, then check out. So it's working. Now I want to close up all those other things that we've got over here. Okay, so this is what we've got. Now let's go ahead and fix the checkout page. I'm simply going to get back to my desktop and I want to open up the template. And there is this really cool looking template called what? Checkouts. So I'm going to open up checkout. I'm going to copy all the code that we've got in there and I'm going to paste it down here. Okay, so what I want to do now is open up my cut HTML. And I'm simply going to grab this codes that I have at the top. Hopefully you guys understand all this by now. We've been doing this throughout this tutorial and all the way at the top, I'm going to minimize the head. I'm going to minimize the header. I'm going to minimize this. So let's get rid of everything over here and I'm going to paste that. And for the next one is going to be the, the footer. So the footer, this, and let's get rid of everything from here to the bottom. And I'm going to paste that. And this is going to be end block. So let's try refreshing this page again. Now, what do you notice? This really cool looking template. Okay. So um, right now I'm going to put in the auto Django thing. So I'm going to say view command palette, and I'm going to hit auto Django. So it's going to go ahead and fill all this in for me. I should get my images looking pretty great. Okay. So that's all I have for now. So um, what I could do is go ahead and list out all the products that I want in my, that I have in my, in my um, session over here so that we could be able to process it and make payments for them okay so how do we do that as you can see there are three products in your cards i don't want that again but what i want is this okay before we do that we need to write a view for it so what should we do in the in the checkout view now um we could we, we could go ahead and start by just listing out some of the items that we got hopefully you guys know about that already so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get back here and i'm gonna copy this uh, actually let's see would we be needing that um okay i don't okay for now we wouldn't we wouldn't be needing this so let's just leave it here for now or oh, you know what i'm just gonna copy it and i'm gonna put it down here i don't know i'm being indecisive now and also we need to grab the for loop so remember the for loop thing that we'll be using um this over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this for loop and remember we we have it all the way okay let's see um okay if we take a close look at this now we will see that this is the one that increments the price right then what i am looking for is the one that we could use to run a for loop so what, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to the e-commerce back end logic now that's what we've got over here so this is the one that i just did now right yeah this is the one i just did now so i need to go ahead and return that template just in here okay that's what i that's what i was supposed to do and to even be more explicit what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab one of these templates over here 
and um, I want to be explicit with what I'm doing so what I what I'm, what I want to copy is this one that has all the card data total items okay so hopefully you understand and I'm gonna copy that and this is where I want to put it okay now I'm gonna get rid of this one at the top now this take notes it's checkout that's HTML okay so now when we get back to the checkout page and refresh everything should still load up perfectly well sweet okay so um right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and let's see our backend logic we've implemented all this so we need to create a new URL we've done that already now we need to go ahead and add the blah blah, blah loop through the products in the session yeah that's what we're gonna do now okay so but before we do that let's go ahead and start fixing out our our template so I'm gonna copy the total card items and I'm gonna open up the checkout and I'm gonna look for there are uh, instead of three and I'm gonna put the total item thing let's see it should be four now okay what do you notice we got four so already have an account I don't think we need that because we already logged in so I'm just gonna comment it out maybe you'd be needing it for something but I don't need it now so I'm just gonna comment it out actually I want to comment out just the div itself okay and all these billing details we're gonna be doing this we're gonna be getting this dynamically and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that later in the future videos okay so we've done this now and um, okay we need to get we need to get rid of this login form because that's what shows that we should log in and I don't think we need that any longer so I'm gonna get rid of it refresh now the coupon code thing should come over here so now let's loop let's loop through this okay I'm gonna look for year that in okay that's year that in now I want to close up all the table rows I think it's three yeah that's it I want to get rid of this and firstly I'm gonna start off by and then the four before I'll go ahead and run the for loop so I'd say for PID or you could just come over here and steal it so for this this is why I want to copy I'm just gonna grab that and um, over here uh oh I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm simply gonna paste it okay so um, I think that should be it now when we refresh we should see four of this over here looking great now the other thing that I'm gonna do is simply go ahead and start changing up all those things that I've got I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna say item dot I think that was image right so item dot image and now let's see if that's actually worked which it did great so now let's change out the title also I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna say item dot title and I don't need this so I'm gonna get rid of it and this is the quantity so I'm, I'm simply gonna say item dot q to y okay and now if we refresh as you can see 3 14 12 now we should go ahead and, and also get a price so um, okay I think firstly we might get a price then also go ahead and also get the the completed price which is the total right so let's say 20 over here I'm gonna refresh this let's see what we got so we got 20 that's that's great so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this dude from over here I'm gonna paste it and I want to change this h4 to h5 so change h4 to h5 let's refresh okay this is smaller now this one is gonna be the total why right? this is gonna be the you know the normal price okay let's get rid of the text brand thing and let's see what we got over here actually I want to I want to put in text muted instead so text muted let's see great that's what I want so let's go ahead and get the price now for the price I'm just gonna say item dot price and let's refresh now the bananas should be five dollars and this one is gonna be item dot total so item dot total okay now let's see okay right now we don't have any total yet that's because we need we still need to go ahead and calculate this right but let's see there should be something I think we've done this before so we don't need to stress much about it yeah this is it okay that's not it this is actually what I'm looking for over here so I'm just gonna grab that and um, instead of the item dot total I'm, I'm gonna paste it okay now where we're gonna be doing the item dot total thing is when we start working with the cards orders okay so um over here now where we refresh as you can see we got this good looking thing right 
and um, you know what I could do I could go ahead and also change this h4 to h5 but I'm gonna leave the text to brand thin without it being text muted so this is great right yeah so um, we got all this I think that's pretty much what we want we could go ahead and change up this link over here I'm just gonna say URL and URL and remember it goes to call the namespace is call and it's called products dash detail detail and this is gonna be item.pid so now let's refresh this if it is to work in perfectly well so user can actually visit the product if they wish to great so um, I think that's pretty much what we want to do and um, okay you know we could we could just come over here at the top and let's just say we want to pull put a button so I'm, I'm gonna look for the place or the button this is it over here I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the button or steal it whatever and I want to paste it down here okay so I'm gonna refresh this and let's see where we get okay this is where we've got a button so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a break tag over there and let's see how it looks uh oh that's not what I want so what I'm just gonna add in MB let's say MB should be 40 and that button is simply the one that's gonna be going back to the cart page so let's say someone want to go back to the cart page that's the one that's gonna do it so I'm gonna change this to sign in or you could even just get rid of it that doesn't have any use over there get rid of it bye bye so this is cart go back to cart okay and we should put in the cart URL over here so this one is gonna be call then cut okay so let's refresh this now go back to cuts we can simply go back to the cuts page if we have anything that we want to change now I think that's gonna be its subtotal now let's look for the subtotal and um, okay how about we just come over here and for the subtotal we add up the I'm gonna put a spawn and I'm gonna say cuts total items because that's what we we're gonna be using over here rather cuts total amount so over here that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna put down here so let's refresh this okay this is what we got looking pretty ugly that's why I want to add a float format and I'm gonna go just to decimal places and that's it okay so I also want a dollar sign over here and I also need a class of text brand so I'd need a class of text dash brand okay looking great so let's refresh this that's what we've got okay um so i think that's pretty much it let's look at this over here that's pretty much what we've got we we fixed our checkout page now we need to go ahead and configure this url over here so that when we hit the proceed to checkout it's gonna just get a checkout for us so how do we do that i'm gonna visit the page again and i'm gonna, I'm gonna look for request the session this is it so what i'm looking for is this checkout this time around we got a pretty url so remember when we, when we didn't have it but now we have it so i'm gonna put it over there checkout and i want to grab this checkout thing because i want to put it in a couple of places or so so this one goes to the cut this one goes to the checkout now i'm also going to get down here and i want to replace it over here checkout and i also want to put it in put it to the cart there is the proceed to checkout over here i'm going to put it here and finally i want to put it in the cart list there is proceed to checkout and I'm gonna put it over here that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back to the to the cart this is the cart over here so now when we hit this as you can see it brings us to the checkout it's as simple as that if we come over here we hover on this we could simply hit this checkout and it still brings us to the checkout so I guess that's pretty much gonna be it for this tutorial in the next one we're gonna go ahead and start working with the PayPal checkouts using Django PayPal that's really really gonna be amazing do make sure to drop a like on this video consider subscribing and if for any reason you're getting an error drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be there to help you guys out until the next video I'd love peace out